Morning guys and gals, Froggy here. Just a quickie to show you what I did to fix my shredder. I have got the Fellows DM1200CT, and that is, um, it's about a $100 shredder, I guess, 150 maybe. It's about as heavy duty of a home office shredder as you can get. Does 12 pages. Um, it can do um, CDs and uh, other type of media. And uh, it was uh, do doing the continuous running thing where it would finish up a, a piece of paper and it would keep running. So what that is, it's an optical sensor that's right down in there. And it gets dusty or it gets... Um, what mine was, was a piece of a sticky mail-on label from mail that I was shredding, an envelope that I was shredding. It peeled off of the paper and stuck itself onto the shredder mechanism inside. So I had to unstick it out of there. And that was not easy because it was way down in there. Uh, what I did was I got uh, a few tools, a knife, which had a very thin blade so I could get down in there, and this little pick here also. And it really was just a slow, tedious job of picking away a little bit at a time uh, to get it off. Make sure you're all unplugged before, this, uh, before you do this work. Um, then I... I shot some brake cleaner down in there, which is, will dissolve uh, most adhesives. And then I took a piece of uh, cardboard, which was about the right size to touch both sides of the slot. And I saturated that with the brake cleaner, and then I just kind of rubbed it around there. Um, the sensor is pretty much dead center, I believe. It only has one sensor. If this somebody knows different, then put it down in the comments. Uh, then I just uh, emptied it, and uh, the way you take the head, the working part, off of the rest of it, it's got these little tabs, one, two, three, four little tabs, and you just squeeze in on this plastic, it's flexible. You squeeze in both sides, and you are able to detach this head. Um, so there you have it, uh, there's a switch, I've got it plugged in, and there's a switch that, uh, prevents it from running when the bin is not installed, uh, but you can bypass the switch. So the switch is right there. I've got it plugged in now, so it will run when I touch that switch. Um, very, very careful when you've got this thing plugged in and you've got it off. You could uh, shred your hand. You don't want to shred your hand um, like some horror movie. Uh, so now I took the opportunity to also lubricate it. And what I decided to use, they give you some light oil and you can buy additional light oil. It's very, very lightweight oil. But I like to use um, silicone. Uh, the oil would be good if this blade area was rusty. And mine is not really rusty. So I just wanted to lubricate it. Uh, so the way you're supposed to do that is... So something that I used, probably the brake cleaner, dissolved some of this plastic so that I couldn't flip this door over to put in... Uh, you know, to shred uh, floppy disks or such. Uh, and I had to take a knife and cut right there so that I could flip this door again. So be careful if you're gonna use brake cleaner. Um, you might not wanna use something that strong. Sorry, a little out of focus there. But that was an easy fix. Now, it's still not shutting off when the, pa when the paper's gone through. And I wonder if the, using that brake cleaner might have damaged something on that sensor too.
maybe. What I'm trying to use now is some alcohol in there to clean around the sensor area. Uh, it ran, I think it ran long enough to overheat the motor and it has a thermal sensor on the motor that will shut it off when it's overheated. Um, so negative, total negative on using brake cleaner on any part of these things. I think that's probably cooked that surface area for the optical sensor, but I can still use the shredder. I'll just have to turn it on and on, on and off um, using the switch. Uh, so learn from my experiments. Uh, give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. Ring the bell if you want notification. Be safe. Have fun. Froggy out. Bye-bye. So basically all this means is I can't use it in automatic mode. I just have to turn the switch on and off when I shred.